Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to Gate CSE 2008. The question is, okay, so the question is, the subset sum problem is defined as follows. Given a set of n positive integers, a1, a2, a and so on up to a n and positive integers, okay, positive integer w is there a subset of s whose elements sum is a w. Okay, so the result is a w. Okay, so by using a dynamic approach for solving this problem using two dimensional boolean array x with n rows and w plus i columns x of i comma j okay 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n similarly 0 less than j less than or equal to n okay is it true if and only if okay so if and only if there is a subset a1 a2 and so on up to ai whose elements of sum is a j okay so which of the following is valid so basically this is a type of theoretical question you can say guys okay so the thing here is if you recall we have discussed about this particular question only in while we discussed our theoretical class guys so in theoretical class i discussed one problem right so sum of a subset problem right yes so using dynamic programming only we will solve that particular problem so if you want i can just show it in the book guys. i'm having this book beside me so just to let me open the question let me open the page so that I can directly show you and I can explain there itself, right? So just give me a second. Okay. So just give me a second. So I'm just opening it. Is it under dynamic programming? I think uh, yes, it's under dynamic programming. So here is the question. So if you recall, so what exactly sum of subset problem is? So if you are trying to calculate the sum of some elements. So basically here the set they gave as a 2, 3, 7, 8 and 10, right? So here they gave a1, a2, a2, right? Yes. So if you need to add these values uh, to get this sum, guys. So you can select any few. So the question is you need to find the sum whether it is possible or not. So in our given example, so using these values, can you form 14, guys? The answer is no, right? Yes. So a simple trick to solve this is uh, by using dynamic programming. So basically computer cannot say directly that it is not possible by using its brain, right? Yes. So that is the reason why it will be creating a table and it is going to check all the combinations guys in simple words you can say. Okay. Yes. So initially you will start with 2, 3, 7, 8 and 10. So these are a given values and our sum is 14. So you will start from 0 to 14 the values guys. Okay. So using these values, can you form 0 guys? Can you form? The answer is yes. So I think it will be easy if I solve it on a paper, right? Yes. So we are having 2, 3, 7, 8 and 10. So here we are having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so and so on. Okay. Yes. So using these values, using 2, can I form 0? Yes. So once I am able to form, I will be writing true guys. Okay. So remember, if 1 is true, all the items below them is true. Because everything here we are working in terms of subsets, right? Yes. So using 2, can you make 1? No. Using 3, can you make 1? No. Use It is indirectly 2, 3 guys. Using 2, 3, can you make 1? No. Using 2, 3, 7, can you make 1? No. So indirectly, the, all the answers will be false. So if you observe, for using 2, can you make 2? Yes, true. So, so once 1 is true, everything will be true guys, remember. So 3, you cannot make. But using 3, you can make 3. 3, true, true. Using 2, can you make 4? No. Using 3, can you make 4? No. Using 7, can you make 4? No. 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 So now let us take the example. So is it is the dynamic programming going to solve in this way? The answer is no guys. So how exactly dynamic programming does is a, so it will do in this way. So now I am trying to form a 5 using 2. So it will subtract 5 minus 2. So what is the result? It is a 3. So it will move two spaces back guys. So it is here right. So it will to move two spaces. So first space, second space and it will move one space up. Right. So here there is nothing. So it is going to print a false. Similarly, now let us try for this 3 guys. So it is a 5 minus 3 it will do. So the result will be 2. So it will move 3 spaces back. So first space, second space, third space and it will move 1 step up. So here, there the result is true. So it will write true. So using 2 and 3 you can make 5 right. So in that way it will work guys. So that is the exact thing which has been asked here. So basically what is the movement they are asking here. Okay. So if you recall it is going to move some steps back. Okay. And it will move 1 step up right. Or if one of them is true, everything will be true. So these are the two cases, right? Yes. So now we are trying to find those two cases. So this value is nothing but above value, right? So if this particular cell is i comma j, 
okay so what will be the above cell guys it is nothing but i minus 1 comma j right so that is the reason why for all the options you have given that only okay yes so with that you can skip that particular part so now let us come to the second part so in second part you will move a of i, I spots right so here we are having in terms of a of i so you will move a of i spots backward so if you are moving backward it is nothing but j minus a of i right and you will move one step up which is nothing but i minus 1 so let us search for this particular option where it is there so it is not a it might be b it is not c okay similarly it is not d also right sorry okay i think option b and d are exactly matching so just to give me a second i'll cross check is there anything change here okay so in examination these two are and operations guys okay yes so remember so it might be so okay so if this is true you will write below true or you might use this method right so moving backward so you can use any one method right so hence it will be or right yes so with that explanation i can conclude that b is the answer and it should not be and so both should not be true both should not be the value so any one of them could be the value right yes so that's a simple question the only thing is you should know the algorithm guys so how exactly it is working right yes so i hope you got a clear idea right at least now okay so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you